welcome to Timber and Chain. I'm Elisa Hopper and today we're going to make polymer clay jewelry dishes with an organic gold leaf edge. My color palette for these little bowls includes various shades of whites, golds, and pinks. A full list of everything I use, including the clay colors, tools, and materials, is available on my blog, along with their links for purchase. I use a machine to roll out each color because I like the consistency, but an acrylic or wooden roller works just fine if you don't have a machine. I'm using these gold leaf sheets to mix with the translucent clay. I keep them in this plastic bag so they don't crumble or blow away if a fan is on or if the screen door is open. These are synthetic gold and are fairly inexpensive and easily available. They're super thin, so make sure your hands are dry or it will stick to you. You can add this by just setting as much as you want on the clay and rolling it. The more you roll it, the smaller the flakes become and they really get incorporated deep down so when it bakes or cures, there's depth to the gold. To marble a clay, the options are endless. I usually roll out each color into a bar, twist the bars together, twist again, and roll them out. Since I'm making multiple bowls in this video, I'm going to show you several ways I marble. To make different patterns, you can tear and reassemble it and then roll it again. You can use as many colors as you'd like. The more you roll the marbled clay, the more the colors incorporate into each other. I'm using specks of glitter clay to get a little more shimmer and I roll to incorporate it all over the pattern. Always check both sides of the marble to see which side you like better. With this gold and white marble, it mixes really quickly and I end up using it as a base because I don't love the pattern. It's fine since it'll be covered. So I make a base and tear the pieces of each of the different marbled patterns. The shape got away from me on this one so I tear the edges to make it round. Once I have a pattern I like, I roll both the top and the bottom. I repeat the process for each bowl using the scraps from the previous bowls so they match. This is going to be a set of bridesmaid gifts. Quick tip, use a baking scraper to lift the clay off of a sticky surface. I learned too late in this video that my new work mat was not non-stick. If you use a plain base color and want a little more excitement, you can add a few marbled or gold leaf pieces. To form into bowls, choose oven safe bowls. You can use the outside of a Pyrex measuring cup, the inside of a ceramic bowl, or even glass measuring cups. Press down all around the edges and the bottom so there are no air bubbles. Bake at 275 degrees for 45 minutes. When they're completely cool, remove the bowls. They should come out pretty easily. If you've used the inside of a bowl, you can turn it upside down and tap it on the palm of your hand to nudge it loose. If it's completely cool, you can also kind of run a knife around the edges, but I would be very careful not to break it with that. I use a satin glaze to give it a little shine, first on the bottom, then on the top. When the glaze is dry, I use a small firm synthetic brush to apply liquid gold leaf to the edges. The liquid gold leaf takes a couple hours to dry and I let it dry overnight before I wrap and ship these. Again, all these materials and even more tips are on the blog. If you enjoyed this video, will you take just a second and subscribe, like, and leave a comment? I love interacting with other artists and hearing what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Now go make something amazing.